crucifix position. Uh, it pulled off the other day. I mean, we're going to go over it again. So I'm in side control. What I'm going to do is when he puts his hand on my face and try to bridge away, I catch, hook on the inside, crank him up. Once you crank him up, you step over. Okay? Once he's stepped over, I take my hand, I place it flush on his chest, move it underneath his chin, and gable grip together, right there. I fall back, cross over, and now all I do is I squeeze my elbows together. Pushing, getting my knees close to him, step over. Now don't do this. That's not going to work because he's going to tuck his chin. He's going to try to prevent you from getting the choke. So that's why I put my hand flush and get it underneath gable grip. I can probably finish him right here if I want to. If you're, if you're uh, flexible enough and you have the agility, you can actually step over from here and fall down. But some people feel that they lose balance, so it's difficult for them. So again, here, push, get him up, stable base, step over, hand flush, gable grip. I'm just going to fall back, I'm going to swing this over, lock your legs together, it doesn't matter, and then squeeze and choke. Here, I push, get him up, step, hand down like this to get his chin loose. Grab, fall back, step over, squeeze my knees together and my elbows together. Okay, go ahead. 